Today, we're going to talk about my new card reader and new memory card. I picked up the ProGrade 4.0 card reader along with an OWC Atlas Pro memory card, which is also 4.0 version. Let's dive in and talk about it. Before we begin, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, there are links for items to purchase in the description area of each video. Over the past two years, there have been some releases of new memory cards, which keep up in the speed of the cards. However, we've had no benefit of a card reader. Well, guess what? Now we have a 4.0 card reader that operates at USB 4 and Thunderbolt 4 speeds. So we're talking speeds up to 3000 megabits per second, but realistically, what you're looking at is 2800 megabits per second. Is that fast enough? I think so. One of the main reasons why I want to pick up this card is because I wanted to see how fast I could transfer my data from the memory card into the computer. While the camera may be able to take advantage of the speed of the card, my card reader, the old one, nah. This was not even half, maybe about really half of what the rated speeds were. But you know what? It's all we had, we dealt with it, it was cool. But today, this bad boy takes us to a whole other level as far as speed's concerned. And with that, I've been able to test this card out to see how it performs. And I made a mistake, I should have bought the faster version, but nonetheless, while it didn't achieve the speed listed on the card, it was fast enough to match the speed of my external NVMe drive, which is about 27 to 8800. Again, USB-C 4 and Thunderbolt 4 speeds. So let's get over to the computer and take a look at what the speed transfer rates are in Blackmagic speed test. After that, we'll talk a bit more about my experience so far in utilizing the card, card reader, and the camera. All right, let's get this test started. I'm gonna use the old ProGrade reader that I have and then test it against the new one. So first, what I'm gonna put inside here is the Exascend Essential card that I have one terabyte is listed at 1800 megabytes per second. Read in 1700 write, and I think the write is supposed to be around 1300 uh, as far as sustained. So let's go. Okay, 941. And on the read side, it's kind of low. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe the card needs to warm up a bit first. That's the first pass. But yeah, the uh, read is supposed to be much higher. So if I get 947 on the right, I'm expecting about a thousand or so. All right, this is interesting. Let's let it do one more pass and see what happens. Not quite the results I was looking for, but that seems to be what we're getting. So 946 on the right and around 770 on the read for the final test here. Let me swap cards and I'm gonna put in the new OWC card that I bought, which is supposed to have a read speeds of 3650 megabytes per second. Now I didn't splurge for the other card cause I just wanted to get one of the new card and try that out. But I think maybe I'll press for one of the 4.0 cards later on. Okay, let's go. So these things you just swing up to about 1200 or so and then drop down to so 873 on the right and looks like 600 almost 700 on the read. So the peak is somewhere around 1200 on the right. And the read, yeah, now it's up to the 700 region. All right, so we're seeing 893 and 718 on the read side. So if right is 8 or 893 is what it has in 718. Okay, so this is the new 
CF Express B 4.0 from ProGrade. And we're gonna start the test off with the Essential by XSend. Okay, shows up. There we go. It's just straight out of the box, 1300. Not bad. And 1400. Okay, on the right. 13 on the right and 14 on the read. Yeah. So that's a marked improvement. That's almost double on the read side. And uh, yeah, 1300 is what we can expect on the right. So we'll do one more pass before we put the OWC card in to test it out. So that's good. Just changing the card reader. The speed has increased significantly. Okay, so let's swap out cards again. And now we're gonna go to the OWC. Now the OWC on the right side is definitely not as fast as on the read side. And I that was you know my fault because I saw the read number and got all excited but forgot about the right side as well. So let's run a test. So it's in about 1200 on the right. Usually what I'm doing is it, it drops down to about nine something. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm expecting. Oh, pumped up, interesting. And the read side is 2700. So I'm in the 2690 to 2700 is what I've been getting in my previous testing. So this is looking pretty good. Now, Again, even though this is a newer card reader and the card's supposed to be at 3600, it's like a, a thousand megabits off, this is still pretty fast. So you have a camera that can take advantage of this stuff, it's gonna be pretty good. I did a test with an 8K video for about a minute, 8K 60 raw, and it worked fine. As you can see, utilizing the existing cards, the speed increase is almost double what the old reader would do. So that means there's faster transfer from the memory card into the computer. That's a plus. Now, I'm not gonna tell anybody to go out there and buy one of these new 4.0 cards, because it all depends on what camera you have and whether or not you take advantage of it. As far as we know, it may have a faster card reader, because of course, camera manufacturers and memory providers typically work together. I'm hoping it does because I remember when I had my Z6, my D500, and we were able to upgrade from XQD to CF Express. That was a big jump in speed. And of course, as CF Express kept fast, getting faster and faster, the camera seemed to be able to handle it just fine. The Z8 should be able to take advantage of whatever speeds we have currently. And for my just a little bit of testing, it seems fine. I'm not gonna bore you with me holding on the shutter and going through all of that. But I think you've seen enough to say that now if you get this card reader, if you don't get one of your new cards, your existing cards read speeds are going to increase when it comes to disk transfer. And that's a plus. I know I appreciate it and I'm sure you guys will appreciate it as well. Now, if you have any questions about the product, put them in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys and what you're using and what you think about this one. If there's another memory card reader out there that you'd like to share, put in the comment as well. Because not all these things are cheap. This one was 100 bucks. Actually, it's a little bit more in Hong Kong. My, my bad, because I forgot that when I'm shopping in Southeast Asia, or Asia in general, you can negotiate prices when it comes to these electronic things when you're out in these markets. So I had checked and said, you know, the price wasn't bad compared to US price plus tax. Then I went up onto another floor and I saw the price was lower. Without even negotiating, I was like, ah, son of a gun. And the thing was over here in Hong Kong, usually when you buy these things, it's like, that's it. You bought it, unless it's damaged, that's it. All sales, sales are final. Weird. All right, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.